Canoe enters a $30 billion market with multiple commercial vehicle sales in Saudi Arabia. Canoe expands internationally with an industry leader in first step accessing the KSA market and provides opportunities for future strategic investments in the region. A leading high-tech advanced mobility company, today signed a vehicle sales agreement with Jazeera Paints, a pioneering paint manufacturer in the Gulf Cooperation Council (GCC) in Middle East and North Africa, MENA. Jazeera Paints will initially purchase 20 Canoe's electric vehicles (EVs) into its fleet in 2024, with the option to expand up to 180 additional vehicles. This agreement taps into the Saudi Arabian EV market, which commands a total addressable market TAM, of over $30 billion, and aligns with initiatives within the GCC region to enhance sustainable mobility solutions. These vehicles will be one of Canoe's first international sales exported to Saudi Arabia utilizing Canoe's recently approved foreign trade zone FTZ, which contributes to lower unit cost and higher margins as announced in Canoe's press release on March 18, 2024. In addition, these electric commercial delivery vehicles provide Canoe with a first-mover advantage in the Saudi market and a competitive position in the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, region. Jazeera Paints will be deploying Canoe's LDV-130 and LDV-190 delivery vehicles within its existing fleet, which operate throughout the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and MENA and support Jazeera Paints' commitment to the Saudi Green Initiative's imperative that 30% of new car sales in the Kingdom are electric by 2030. Canoe's delivery vehicles are built on a proprietary multi-purpose platform with steer-by-wire technology. Canoe's software stack allows for end-to-end -end integration into Jazeera Paint's workflow and its custom-built shelving eliminates the need for third-party upfitting, thereby reducing downtime for operations. This partnership is a key milestone in our targeted geographic expansion to the KSA region with a large and important fleet that is focused on deploying sustainable technologies across the fast-growing industry it serves. I have had the pleasure of working closely with Abdullah bin Saud al Romaya the CEO of Jazeera Paints, on how we can partner together to deliver on the Crown Prince's environmental initiatives for the Kingdom's Vision 2030, said Tony Aquila, investor, executive chairman, and CEO of Canoe. I am delighted to announce this agreement to purchase electric vehicles from Canoe, which symbolizes Jazeera Paints' commitment to sustainability and eco-friendly technologies and materials, said CEO of Jazeera Paints, Abdullah bin Saud al Romaya. Tony and I have been working on this partnership for over a year and are excited about the future possibilities of ways we can work together to achieve our sustainability goals. Looking ahead, this partnership between Canoe and Jazeera Paints represents the beginning of a transformative journey in the realm of electric mobility. Both companies anticipate this alliance will catalyze further innovation and collaboration, paving the way for a more sustainable and technologically advanced future in commercial transportation within the GCC and beyond. About Canoe, Canoe's mission is to bring EVs to everyone. The company has developed breakthrough electric vehicles that are reinventing the automotive landscape with their pioneering technologies, unique design, and business model that spans multiple owners across the full life cycle of the vehicle. Canoe designed a modular electric platform that is purpose-built to maximize the vehicle interior space and is customizable for all owners in the vehicle lifecycle, to support a wide range of business and consumer applications. Canoe has teams in California, Texas, Oklahoma, and Michigan. For more information, visit www.canoe.com and investors.canoe.com. About Jazeera Paints Founded in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in 1979, Jazeera Paints is a pioneering paint manufacturer in the Gulf Cooperation Council and the Middle East and North Africa region, with an established reputation for manufacturing and exporting high-quality and eco-friendly paints. Since the founding of the company, Jazeera Paints has successfully maintained its top-notch place as one of the most prominent companies that manufacture paints and dyes in MENA with an annual production capacity exceeding 500,000 tons and more than 750 active showrooms inside and outside KSA. Forward-looking statements. The information in this press release includes forward-looking statements within the meaning of the safe harbor provisions of the United States Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements may be identified by the use of words such as estimate, plan, project, forecast, intend, will, 
expect, anticipate, believe, seek, target, or other similar expressions that predict or indicate future events or trends or that are not statements of historical matters. These forward-looking statements include, but are not limited to, statements regarding estimates and forecasts of financial and performance metrics, expectations and timing related to commercial product launches and the achievement of operational milestones, including the ability to meet and or accelerate anticipated production timelines, GNU's ability to capitalize on commercial opportunities, current or anticipated customer orders, and expectations regarding the development of facilities. These statements are based on various assumptions, whether or not identified in this press release, and on the current expectations of Canoe's management and are not predictions of actual performance. These forward-looking statements are provided for illustrative purposes only and are not intended to serve as, and must not be relied on by any investor as, a guarantee, an assurance, a prediction or a definitive statement of fact or probability. Actual events and circumstances are difficult or impossible to predict and will differ from assumptions. Many actual events and circumstances are beyond the control of canoe. These forward-looking statements are subject to a number of risks and uncertainties, including changes in domestic and foreign business, market, financial, political and legal conditions, canoe's ability to access future capital, via debt or equity markets, or other sources, the rollout of Canoe's business and the timing of expected business milestones and commercial launch, future market adoption of Canoe's offerings, risks related to Canoe's go-to market strategy and manufacturing strategy, the effects of competition on Canoe's future business, and those factors discussed under the captions, risk factors, and management's discussion and analysis of financial condition and results of operations. In Canoe's annual report on Form 10-K for the fiscal year ended December 31, 2022 filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, on March 30, 2023, as well as its past and future quarterly reports on Form 10-Q and other filings with the SEC, copies of which may be obtained by visiting Canoe's Investors Relations website at investors.canoe.com or the SEC's website at www.sec.gov. If any of these risks materialize or our assumptions prove incorrect, actual results could differ materially from the results implied by these forward-looking statements. There may be additional risks that Canoe does not presently know or that Canoe currently believes are immaterial that could also cause actual results to differ from those contained in the forward-looking statements. In addition, forward-looking statements reflect Canoe's expectations, plans or forecasts of future events and views as of the date of this press release. Canoe anticipates that subsequent events and developments will cause Canoe's assessments to change. However, while Canoe may elect to update these forward-looking statements at some point in the future, Canoe specifically disclaims any obligation to do so. These forward-looking statements should not be relied upon as representing Canoe's assessments as of any date subsequent to the date of this press release. Accordingly, undue reliance should not be placed upon the forward-looking statements.